Hello, welcome to another video of PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb, and this video will be from a, another app from Fred Ventura and his group Ventura Educational Systems. It's hands-on math. This is the interactive hundreds chart. Uh, it says you can investigate and discover number patterns, key math concepts, number theory ideas. So I'll just give you a quick kind of uh, introduction to this app and showcase some of the, the elements of that app that I really like in the teaching of mathematics. Well, you can, the main options here are do you want to start the chart at zero or do you want to start the chart at one? And typically we start the chart at one when we're building early number concepts and our counting numbers and seeing the patterns in counting from one to 100, especially with the early childhood, kindergarten, first grade. And you can start the chart at zero and that's going to build the idea of whole numbers and that that value of zero is very important and early childhood development and early understanding of mathematics it's very important that you you have students explore that concept of zero so starting with the hundreds chart at one uh, we will go back and here's your hundreds board uh, general investigation into this app you can click on a a block and it puts a square around it. Now why does it put a square around it? Because of the option that you've chosen chosen to the left. Now it's black and it's a square that goes over the block or that um, that that cell in our chart that I wanted to color. Now if I wanted it to be a red square then I'd pick the red square. If I wanted it to be a yellow circle then I could do a yellow circle. Again, if I wanted a pink check mark, then I could do a pink check mark. If I wanted an orange kind of dark color, cover it all the way up so you don't see the number anymore, then I can select this option. And if I want, say, a blue but transparent type of element, I can still see the number underneath it, then that is an option. And uh, I really like the different options. Of course, I, I skipped over. Uh, non-intentional the X but you can have an X over it as well so X we don't want check we do want uh, we clear our board and uh, we are going to go in and we can say we're going to count by two so we're going to count by twos in pink so here's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty so you can see the pattern that emerges when you're counting by twos well, what happens when you count by three? So I'm going to put a circles around counting by threes. Well, three, six. Notice at six now it has a, uh, and I'm running on battery. Okay. So counting by threes, notice the six, you can count by threes and by twos to get to six. Then we have nine, then we have 12. Again, 12 is you can count by twos and threes to get to 12. 15, and then 18 again counting by twos and three to get to 18 this is one thing that you can show where you have common multiples you can find a least common multiple a greatest common multiple um, actually you wouldn't have a greatest common multiple I apologize for that but you have least common multiples and when you're trying to determine uh, uh, equivalent fractions or when you're trying to add fractions and get a common denominator you want to do that least common multiple so with with respect to this app uh, and using the hundreds chart the early development of skip counting the early development of pattern recognition when you're counting by twos and you're counting by threes or so forth is very important and useful for this app you can also extend it into other number concepts uh, fractions and least common multiples and you can actually do factors on this you can do things with linear combinations in your uh, algebra classroom uh, there's you know the options are are, are there and uh, so the hundreds chart I, I like it a lot uh, one thing that you do want to focus in on uh, with this app with your early kids is how you can count by tens and seeing how you're counting by tens uh, on the side and your bench bark numbers is very important and then counting by tens and fives the chart gives a visual way to see where those numbers are in our early childhood it's very important to build those concepts so this is a brief introduction to hands-on math the interactive hundreds chart by Fred Ventura and his group 
Um, there are a lot of elements, a lot of um, activities that you can do or showcase in your classroom uh, building those early number concepts. So um, again, this is PyPad Mathematics and I am Professor Lamb.